In this video, I'd like to take the time to talk to you about color management within Photoshop Elements. Color management is really important because we want to make sure we're viewing our images and printing them in the correct color profile so we know when we get them back or when we're viewing them that everything is A-OK. -okay. To access our color settings, we need to go up to the Edit menu. From here, we'll come down and choose Color Settings. There's a keyboard shortcut there of Shift, Control and K to access this dialog. When the color settings dialog appears, we get four options which we can choose. We have no color management, we have always optimize colors for computer screens, always optimize for printing, and allow me to choose. Now these options are actually self-explanatory, but there are some key things that are happening here which I want to talk to you about. If we choose no color management, Photoshop Elements won't worry about the color of our images, and you just get what you're given. Really, you want to choose one of these two options either optimize for computer screens or optimize for printing. What's happening when we choose optimize for computer screens is that our images will be tagged with sRGB as the color space. If we choose optimize for printing, we'll set up our images within the Adobe RGB color space. So these two profiles are recommended for either viewing on computer screens or for printing. So you really want to come into this dialog and make sure that you have this set up depending on what you're trying to achieve. Something's going to the internet on a web page, make sure you have this option here checked. But if you're just going to printing, whether it's commercially, to a printer, or even to a color lab, this option will be fine. This last option here, allow me to choose, gives us the ability to set sRGB or Adobe RGB as our preference. You need to be really careful when you choose this option that you're always consciously aware that you're managing your photos correctly. So I'm gonna steer you away from this one and really, you want to stick between computer screens or printing as your preference. Now, most of my files are going to be for printing purposes, so I'm going to leave this as always optimized for printing. This dialog is pretty basic. It is pretty self-explanatory as well. If you're not really sure of color management, you don't need to stress too much. Just make sure one of these two options are set. I'll press OK to this dialog to get out of there. My color settings are now set for Photoshop Elements and I can continue working on knowing that my images are going to be managed with the correct color.